buses and all, all of those things. Uh, if any questions about uh, more details on smart transport, including the systems, partners, software, feel free to you know, ask Eunice or, or get back to me directly. They will divide into three parts. Uh, briefly, probably within an hour, we'll try to cover some market overview, uh, our product offerings, as well as application case scenarios. Feel free to send messages in uh, in a chat in a chat room. We can stop anytime. Eunice, shall we? Okay. 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 So, gentlemen, if you don't mind, I'll be turning off microphones of everyone for a while. Okay. Empezamos. Ah, hola. Okay, uh, Eunice, I'll turn up as well yours. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, anyway, gentlemen, once again, I'm not from Latin America, and the information we have, you know, of course, is very limited to, you know, market research, to different, you know, uh, what Intel and other partners give to us. At the same time, you know, we speak to our clients, we speak to our partners, and we see uh, the market trends, uh, not only by, you know, um, purchase data, but also by data from our partners. So normally when we deal with market trends analysis, uh, we, only speaking, most analyze the US and Asia, as US and Asian uh, development goes a bit further and faster than European, Latin American and African market. So what's happening here in Taiwan, China, or other Asia normally then goes to US or opposite and then goes to Latin America and Europe. So we'll be providing you some feedback uh, according to our experience in mind. So basically, when we're talking about energy and transportation systems, um, we can cover you know, many things. We can cover railways, we can cover you know, passenger information, uh, airports, uh, transportation hubs, uh, different you know, telecom uh, offices, uh, navigation on roads, navigation underground, navigation uh, with airlines on the sea, many things, right? But the GHC and this particular topic uh, will be covering only two main aspects is smart parking within the city infrastructure. And second is electronic toll collection. So with toll collection, we'll be uh, briefly going through the manual toll collection, multi-lane, wet in motion. Uh, those are the three major ones. I'm just speaking, uh, most of the countries still have the manual toll collection. And Taiwan, just a few years back, or you know, five, six years back, we started to have multi-lane free flow. And I'll show you in a minute. But basically, uh, we have fully automated systems where you just, you know, drive your car through the highways without any stops. You have the RFID tags on your car. You pass uh, with, you know, 110 kilometers per hour, 120. You never need to stop. Everything is fully automated. It took a while to build that, but right now this experience is uh, being open to Europe, US, and many, many other countries. So uh, hopefully uh, the same goes in Latin American market as well. And this is a very, very gr uh, good business model for the government. That's why you know it's been uh, very rapid development globally. Uh, interesting point that we are not going to speak today, but uh, hopefully if you're interested, let me know, and I'll send you more information. Is wait in motion. Where in motion uh, is being used quite uh, often these days in Europe, Russia, and American market. Why? Because government basically uh, install additional uh, weight control systems on highways and the major hubs. Andres, excuse me, but I'll be turning off your microphone. Uh, major hub. So what what uh, what you can do is basically you can control the weight, not control, but monitor the weight uh, of all the trucks. In this case, uh, many of the garments set up different you know price range uh, for trucks to go through the highways and uh, transit hubs. Anyways, the equipment of ours, we're not software company, so we mostly work with partners on that side, including your you as a client. But we focus on three major aspects is collecting data, computing data, and visualizing data. I shared the screen before, uh, maybe some of you already seen. 
we have you know some Spanish clients uh, who already had this information. But basically, we are focusing on the few aspects uh, in terms of global infrastructure. As you can see, according to any data, whether it's uh, Latin America, Europe, Russia, or Asia, travel, logistic, and transportation, including cross vertical and advanced industries, are the major investment. Um, let's say portfolios and directions for not only governments but any private institutions globally. Why is that? Because, like, especially from last year, you realize that after the COVID, whatever it comes to travel, transportation, logistics, as well as the health infrastructure, it's going to get funded. It's not just going to get funded by the governments, but there are many of unique business models are happening these days where private companies are, are joining and uh, figure out how to actually utilize and monetize all those infrastructure investments. Before normally, you know, Chinese companies come to uh, Uruguay, Paraguay, and um, those countries and build large infrastructure projects. But these days, even local SIs can develop, for example, data monitoring system and generate revenue purely from uh, toll collection or maybe the uh, monitoring of the traffic violations, which is easier to make uh, with local telecom companies. So from our experience, transportation projects are being developed very rapidly. That's why even our products are mostly focused on that. And we do um, we do focus on a few aspects. Is video analytics, data caching, and location services. Why is that? Uh, those are the main money makers. Video analytics is for analyzing the traffic relations. Those are the safety. Safety is the priority for any garment. Location services, it's marketing. Data caching is basically H. Uh, 5G is coming, but H computing uh, helping to do the all the data caching. Hello? Nice. Somebody's using my. Hmm. Excuse me, gentlemen, it's very strange. I see. Presentation is a bit missing at the moment. Apologies. I'm just sharing the presentation. We're missing a few slides. If all the, uh, while it's being opened, all details about the financial data and market data, feel free to ask Eunice, and you know she, she she'll send you an additional presentation on that. Eunice. Yes. Yeah. Uh, apologies. Yeah, uh, something have a present presentation, but one minute, okay? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Everyone, please uh, start new presentation. Yeah. Gary, Xiongju, yeah. everyone, please uh, open new presentation. Okay. Okay, I have it over here. Okay. So, just briefly, gentlemen, there are two major aspects that you know we're focusing in terms of you know investing our time and our new resources and marketing and uh, just product development. So two aspects: advanced travel information systems (EIS), advanced traffic management systems (TMS). It doesn't matter. Russia, Uruguay, Paraguay, Brazil, Argentina, uh, U.S., uh, China. These are two major investment, uh, let's say, um, generating uh, businesses that are happening in all the countries, whether it's a private and the government you know, institutions uh, investing heavily. So hardware-wise, it's still about only 20%. Majority of our partners right now are getting into the software 
as uh, you can generate you know, much higher revenue with uh, less exposure to risks. Uh, and I'm just thinking majority of solutions that are uh, for transportation as a software lead, whether it's parking lots or toll collection metering, it's about the data. It's generating data, it's comparing data. Hardware is still the largest in terms of you know, initial investment, but as you see from this uh, graph, it's getting only to 20%. So a few things. Latin America, unfortunately, you know, is still uh, below Europe and Asia, Pacific and Middle East. At the same time, uh, at the same time, uh, according to our research, uh, it's actually going to be faster than the Middle East and Africa within the next two or three years. I'll send you a separate video on interesting toll collection system in Taiwan. As you can see on the right, MLFF tolling connection. Angar, would you please turn off your microphone? Thank you. Okay, that. So, we're not going to bother you with many of the videos, but Taiwan itself was very, very underdeveloped you know, for many years. We had, you know, quite a uh, complicated, you know, tolling system, you know, with stopping and booth and, you know, very complicated. But as you can see from the right, it's clean right now. So we finally uh, have 100% uh, full advanced tolling system, uh, multi-layer ones. So all the companies that are um, involved in those projects are open. So if you're interested in, in regards to software, RFID, uh, hardware, and any partners that are building the sort of projects in Taiwan, ask Unis, okay? Major drivers from our point of view, uh, when we're talking about the projects, uh, of course, uh, government investments, traffic monitoring systems and, and traffic signal control systems. These are three major investment uh, decision makers for environments. Private companies, majority of our partners this moment fo uh, focusing on fleet management, asset monitoring. Uh, I think about 70% are in electronic toll collections and about 30% in fleet management. Fleet management, gentlemen, fleet management is not uh, yet as developed in Latin America as in, as in Europe. At the same time, I believe that this is the main money maker for most of our clients, um, most of you. So we have plenty of products like SIGM series that can be installed not only on the police, buses, on you know, any uh, emergency vehicles, but my more clients are utilizing it for oil, gas, for transportation, for logistics. So basically we have more and more projects where uh, companies save quite a while of money just by installing uh, embedded PC on logistic uh, cars. So once again, for all the information in regards to software partners, management solutions, we can do an, another webinar. We can ask Unis for more details. Uh, before we start with the introduction, we have Rita. Uh, tell us a bit about special offering we have this month. Rita? Thank you, Ruslan. Hola, como estas? This is Rita from JSC Taipei office. And today I would like to ensure you a very, very good chance. A very, very good chance to make both you and JSC Tech get more business. That is our special price on the promotion. As we know, right now at this point, at this moment, customer all suffer from component shortage around the global market. And GPU AI card often run out of stock. As we know right now, the cryptocurrency like Bitcoin gone viral like crazy. And everybody would shop around on the internet to buy a GPU card to become a miner. As we know, they can mine a mining. Um, anyway, we didn't see that is a problem. Instead, we see that's a pain point we can take advantage of. And we see the chance to take action, we make this on the promotion. And as you can see on the PPP, we offer Templicon AI computing card, which 
is a comfortable AI computing part, comfortable computer with NVIDIA and computing part, and together with our Box PC series with a very, very competitive special price. As you can see, that is a very good discount up to 25% off. Rita, uh, thank you, yeah. Uh, gentlemen, back to Eunice in regards to all the promotions and all the prices. What's happening is uh, end of the April, most of companies in Asia are increasing their prices. Unfortunately, this is due to you know, uh, the consumption of chipsets and uh, lack of steady supply. It doesn't matter whether it's you know, manufacturing in Taiwan or in, in, in anywhere else. But what we do is we build more partnerships with um, third-party suppliers as well as, you know, we are looking for new ways how to optimize our offering. So I'm not sure whether you even heard about the Cambricorn series. This is the one of the uh, Chinese unicorns. The company is already on the China stock market and goes to US probably quite soon. Evaluation is in billions. And basically, this is the major competitor to NVIDIA globally uh, they have amazing acceleration cards ai cards so you'll be hearing about this brand very very often very soon so i suggest you to pay more attention and test as fast as possible as those guys are growing very fast so ghc and cambricorn are building ai uh, focused solutions for transportation and um, age computing together so for anything, get back to Eunice and she'll you know, give you more information on Cambrian Corn uh, cards. So basically, it's a very strong competitor of NVIDIA and we believe that they'll be probably number one quite soon. And now uh, we'll start with Gary and the product offering. Gary, welcome. Uh, yes. Hello, everyone. Hello, Russ. Can you hear me? Good, Gary. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm Gary, the technical engineer from GHD Tech. We are going to introduce some hot steering products for you today for the intelligent transportation system. First, I would like to ask the partners here. When you have a project which needs industrial pieces for harsh outdoor conditions, what will be your main concerns? Please just turn on your microphone and we welcome for your comments. Hi, hola, hola a todos. Uh, here, our engineer would like to know uh, more about your concerns when you have the project for outdoor harsh conditions. What will be your main concerns when you're choosing the industrial PC brands? So if you have any comments, you can just uh, turn on your microphone here, or maybe you can uh, write your comments in the table, okay? Because we we would like to know what is your main concerns, then we will offer you more uh, stable and reliable purposes for your reference. Hola, Alan. <laughs> okay. Okay. So Gary, you can go ahead. And uh, uh, I, I just would like to let you guys know if you have any questions, you can leave the comments. In the table. Hola, Nicolas. <laughs> Buenos dias. Hi, I, I have a comment to to one of the main concerns in, in, in tall systems. Uh, one is the temperature, uh, because usually uh, many cabins has uh, air conditioning, but uh, in some uh, rural conditions or remote conditions, uh, there is not uh, any air conditioning. Uh, and the, the second concern is about the seal of the cabinet. I mean, the, the, the seal conditions of, of, the, 
of the CPU and the components because uh, there is many um, dust and, and uh, especially from uh, smoke from uh, from the cars and trucks. Yeah, see. Yes, I understand. I understand. Uh, and uh, before we know, actually, for loving American market, before we lost so many customers, they keep use the uh, consumer computers like uh, uh, HP or maybe like Lenovo. Or uh, at the beginning, we also use the SBC from Advantech. Yeah, before uh, at that time, we normally use the PC with the fan, right? But but. Uh, what what is uh, when when you talked about all the concerns? I believe we have the solution. If we we use the fanless computer, it will it will solve all of our concerns, right, Nicholas? Hola. Oh, see, right, right. So that is why today we are going to make the introduction about the fanless computer, which is our main uh, production line from JHC Tech. Because we we will offer the proposals to solve all the uh, problems that we just talked. So Gary, it's your turn. Let's move. Okay. Uh, so I think there may be the stability for non-stop operation, or if the PC is easy for maintenance structurally. However, we have solutions which included all those concerns. Let's have a look. JHC Tech focus on providing balance in the chair computer. Compared to the commercial computer, they are more stable and can work 7 and 24 hours interrupt duty. It is extremely rugged and can adopt to extra harsh conditions. JHC Tech product with aluminum alloy and the standard steel refrained for the structure so it is good for heat dissipation. All products with compact size so it can compatible with virus component size. Our motherboard and subcard is modernization design, very convenient for assemble or disassemble. We have rich I.O. functions suitable for different field application requirements. In other side, anti-shock and anti-vibration design enable PC works good for projects. First, this is Commander 3920. It has a subcard for 2PCI or 2PCIE. The extension slot can install other PCI or PCIe devices, and also the device cards are very easy to install. The PCIe X16 slot can support NVIDIA 1660 Ti GPU, but the lens have to less than 225 mm. We already have a full solution about the Commander 3920 and NVIDIA GPU card. The 2PCIe and its slot is PCIe X16 and PCIe X4. There's a iPort. It can support built-in DIO or parallel port or two lens. There are two SATA disk support red one or red zero. Convenient for you to do replacement. It also support VPro technology. By LAN I219 and TPM 2.0 technology. At those highlights, it is not selling, it is hot selling for ETC projects. Hi, can you, uh, can you hear me clearly? Yes. Yes, go ahead, no worries. Okay. Uh, 
And the second option is Commander 3230. It is a final spot computer with the Intel Whiskey Lake U architecture. It's powered by the S generation Intel processor. Five lines support 4G and Wi Fi. The compact size is an ideal solution for payment machines limited space. We have cooperated with Intel for this model for some intelligent cities projects. Also applied it for metro station in Colombia. And uh, this is the third option, land commander. 3202. It has uh, the same size for commander 3230. So, also good for payment machines, but as it has 4 PoE or 7 lens option. 16 bit isolation DIO, PS2 ports. When customer needs PoE for PoE cameras, when doing a traffic project, it will be a good option. Since last year, GHC Tech is the first manufacturer to launch the uh, industrial PC with GPS. Now we already have Bravo series on board. We mainly introduced Bravo 7302. It can support MX and NVIDIA GPU such as 9050Ti, 1060, and 1070, or MXM Cambrian AI Accelerate card. Cosmo is very interested in this solution because the powerful GPU will help to process and analyze big data from AI software or the deep learning algorithm. It also supports 4G and Wi-Fi wireless connection. Bravo 7302 is a high-performance GPU. The high-performance and multi-IO is good for mobile enforcement system and patrol car. And the next, uh, last introduced line will be our Aladdin series. As you could see, GHT Tech offer a full size monitor and a panel PC for you. Size from 10.1 inch to 21.5 inch. Then, what is our main advantage when comparing with other provider solution? I think there will be some advantages. First, adding with IP65 front end panel. USB for data reading in front side. Second, modular resolution design which is easy for you to replace SSD on field. The SSD part is a removal for replacement structurally. Third, flexible CPU and touch screen options. We have resistive touch and capacitive touch. And the fourth, some panel PCs have PCI or PCIe expansions. For example, I will choose, I will introduce our Aladdin A1001. It's a compact, fanless, embedded panel computer. It is powered by Intel, Bayer family, Celeron, J. 1900 processor. The compact size is good for payment machine as well. Meanwhile, it had been applied for many Ita Latin, Latin American projects. Gary, excuse me. Yes. Uh, Gary, let's yes. go back. Yeah. Uh, which ones are 4K? 
uh, which are the most the highest resolution uh sorry do it other resolutions in Aiga. which one has the highest resolution Alep? high resolution is uh uh one one two eight zero and uh, eight hundred hundred yeah yes. mm -hmm. okay so uh nicholas yeah Price range, definitely. Uh, price range is back to Eunice. She's the boss over there, so she'll be, you know, getting you on the, all the price list. Yes, uh, about the mm -hmm. price range, you uh, can ask our Eunice. Yes, yes. The prices, unfortunately, yes. I cannot as well comment at the moment. As I mentioned, uh, April, you know, there are, a bit, there are some changes globally, including, you know, China supply chain. So we adjust, we had adjustments on the price range. So Unis, you know, will update you guys. But don't worry, you know, in your projects, this will be, you know, the best solution you can ever get. Uh, Gary, thank you. I appreciate uh, the time. Hola, Gary. Uh, yes. Hi. Hi. Uh, Miguel. Yeah, also ask what is the list for the uh, for the uh, Aladdin panel PC. Uh, the needs, uh, uh, it's a, it's a, uh, it's it's three hundred and fifty, right? Uh, three hundred and fifty or five thousand. Yes. And yes. Uh, uh, we, uh, I have to uh, check the data set. No, it's a, it's a three, it's three hundred and fifty, right? Okay. And uh, uh, Ander, Andres, for price, we will talk later. Okay. Uh, actually, for 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 last project uh, pro products that uh, Gary introduced, actually both are the hot selling murders we have applied for Latin American marketing, and we know the topic of our webinar today is about the uh, intelligent transportation system, such as the. Uh, Bayarche system and the uh, intelligent parking system and the mobile enforcement system. So uh, all the murders we just introduced actually uh, are the hot selling murders for this uh, these applications. And below we also will have our uh, product manager to make the introduction for the specified uh, applications with our products. So we will move forward with our production manager, Senora Grace. Okay. Gary, so it's turn to Grace, right? It's turn to Grace. Uh, hello, hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Good, great. Thank you. Okay, okay. Uh, let's start. Mm, hello, everyone. I'm Grace. Nice to meet you. Uh, I'm here today to introduce the applications of JHC's products. You know, our products are used in many fields. Today, we mainly introduce the applications in ETC and smart parking. So, uh, first, we need to know what ETC is and uh, what the role of ETC is in, ex in expressway system is. ETC is called Long Stop Electronic Tool Collection System, which transmissions special short range communication between RSU devices and onboard electronic text or BU. It can realize automatic payment when passing the highway without stopping, which can greatly improve the passing efficiency. Then, uh, what's the requirement of ETC system? The first one is the required wide working temperature, shock proof, and uh, fanless embedded uh, uh, industrial PC. The main control equipment is installed in the tow station, which is greatly affected by vibration, dust, and other harsh environment. So it must be dust proof, shock proof and uh, moisture proof. The whole system needs to work continuously for 24 hours, which requires high reliability of equipment. Mm, consider the need of future and old uh, product maintenance. 
generally re require the whole ma machine to provide extensive slot. Also, uh, this uh, ETC system needs much more OS and uh, easy for maintenance. Um, next, uh, uh, I will show some applications in ETC system. And the first one is uh, uh, much land free flow. Through the view of the composition of professional boundary virtual stations and uh, roadside sand stations, both the on site processor for identification statement and the on site processor for license supply recognition and need the industrial PC. Judge says embedded industrial computer commander 36. 103602 is very suitable for the application requirements for this system. They can work continuously for 24 hours, uh, have flexible choice of uh, processor and OS support, rich I.O. interface and support mounting and wall mounting installation. Through wired and wireless communication connected with extra data acquisition device in order to get data source, monitor and control the vehicle and the road conditions. Implement uh, maintain data, data integration, data pro processing, equipment management and uh, analysis on edge. Filter the useful data and uh, summarize the data upload to focus uh, analysis so as to provide re reliable real-time information to for decision making uh, to ensure intelligent transportation uh, system to respond to the event quickly. Uh, the next uh, is uh, uh, Commander 3H. Two zero and three line two one and three line two zero etc application in MTC land tuning system etc and MTC mixed land system and etc land tuning system uh, through the topology diagram you can clearly find the characteristics of their applications. Uh, they have uh, uh, diversified communication connections, uh, support 4G, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, wireless uh, communication, have uh, comps uh, such as RS232, uh, uh, RS4422, uh, and 485. Uh, they can uh, set by BIOS and uh, have uh, var uh, various uh, display ports such as VGA, H HDMI, and the DP. Also have uh, USB 3 and uh, Gigabit LAN support uh, general uh, industrial protocols. Uh, completely can uh, meet all kinds of network requirements. Also, uh, these products uh, have strong finance design, support uh, TPM2, and uh, support a uh, wide working temperature from minus uh, 20 to 65 degree uh, support wide power input dc uh, from uh, dc uh, 12 to 24 watts um also, uh, they can uh, they can operate the stable stable under uh, under harsh environment conditions. Mm, can support online real time monitoring and control, and quickly response to uh, change in operating conditions. Automatically, the normal operation of the system. Also, they have uh, they with powerful input and output functions can connect various uh, um, interface and uh, uh, various uh, various uh, extra devices and the channel controller, video monitoring system, uh, vehicle tester, and etc. to complete uh, a variety of tasks. Uh, to support, uh, we also uh, support. Uh, 
uh, personalized uh, ca customer less to meet different uh, elastic needs. So uh, here, here, here is some uh, pictures um, and uh, speak uh, in, of the applications uh, way uh, applications of the uh, say applications. And you can see uh, there's some speak and uh, uh, we use command three uh, line two one um, um, power powered by. Six uh, uh, one zero zero uh, uh, core uh, crawl three. Mm. Uh, this page is this page is uh, uh, one uh, application diagram in highway tuning system in Latin America. Uh, you can see it have three sub systems and uh, the functions of the system are listed on the right. Uh, just for your reference, uh, I think uh, there's no need to read them in detail. Uh, if you uh, have any, if you interest, uh, you can read it uh, underline. Uh, the next is uh, special in vehicle system. So um, Next one is the mobile enforcement system. It is composed of two subsystems. Um, command 3, uh, use Command 3, uh, 602, which have four POE camera lamp ports. So the IP camera of the front end of the subsystem can connect with uh, command 3602 through uh, the switch and uh, use use to collect information and data and play it on the monitor. It also connects with the transportation management platform and, uh, pla uh, and the police processing platform through the uh, police special network. The next application is uh, um, in police vehicle and uh, police motorcycle, uh, we call it mobile per patrol monitoring system. This this system is uh, use high def definition camera shooting, computer uh, forensics and uh, forensics and uh, computer technology. When on patrol, it is easy for forensics. Once found in uh, illegal vehicles, you can cap um, capture for Celix, uh, easy to follow up precision. Um, it also have um, uh, panorama uh, functions. Command 3602 have 428 four PoE LAN port and uh, can be connected with up to eight cameras, which can realize much directional capture. Uh, the next function is mobile function, uh, which have high expansion capability of, of communication interface, support wireless 4G LTE, GPS communication, and uh, also have uh, can support wireless commu communications. Uh, this page uh, will show some uh, functions of mo mobile a patrol monitoring system, system and uh, some pictures uh, in app, uh, in application sense. Uh, the last uh, the last application to share the uh, smart parking system. It required uh, the smart uh, parking system required uh, um, Compact size products and uh, must have a rich I/O interface, support a flexible installation. Uh, so our alerting, alerting uh, zeros can meet the needs. This is the application architecture for your uh, re reference. This is uh, the architecture. Mm, uh, this uh, this is my, all my today's sharing. Thank you.
Thank you. Um, Eunice, uh, gentlemen and ladies and gentlemen, frankly speaking, there are plenty of information that you know we wish to share with you uh, today or during the next webinars, and but we also don't want to spend you know too much of your time. I would like to go through you know uh, about parking and a few other projects in details at the same time. So far, if anybody has any questions, we can address them at the moment before we move on. Eunice, would you help uh, if anybody have any questions? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, si, si ustedes tienen algunas dudas sobre uh, estos productos y uh, soluciones. <laughs> If not, I just wanted to mention a few things. Uh, but hey, guys, uh, you mentioned about the importance of uh, temperatures, you know, dust uh, control, uh, heat, indeed. Uh, I'm just speaking, if we go further and do, you know, research and actually uh, go, go very, very deep in details in regards to uh, ETC and uh, similar, okay, like Raspberry yeah. Uh We do not have similar to Raspberry ones. We do have, you know, uh, not, not SOC, basically, you know, we, we have some small board, but it's not our main uh, advantage. But I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Definitely check it out. So, uh, Carlos, Eunice, yeah, I take with Carlos later in regards to, you know, the app uh, for parking. Mm -hmm. In terms of EC, because many of our clients, uh, whether it's a Europe, uh, US, Latin America, yeah, but you know, uh, we, we, we can help you know with partnerships on the software side as well. But if our partners aside, do ETC, it's, you know, it's a great business. Uh, basically, it's a one time installation and you know, constant update and constant services, constant you know, uh, return on investment for system integration partner. As you can see over here, uh, all of them you know have requirements on the climate control and on the dust, but at the same time, you know, our products have. All the necessary certifications in regards to you know electrical uh, wirings as well as let's say if it's for transportation it's going to be transportation certificate uh, and mostly frankly speaking these projects are done by telecom or software right now partners because they are the ones you know who are installing all the software for monitoring whether you work with a taiwanese um, vivotech over focus or chinese equation dahua the cameras are mostly, you know, by those guys or like uh, or Bosch. Uh, further, if you're interested, you know, Eunice can send you more details on other applications uh, for transport. We do plenty of projects uh, on vehicles. So all those products are um, certified for being on the transport, certified for being on the railways. And this is a great project. This little example of one of uh, my projects in Russia, uh, we've done about maybe 15,000 15000 buses in Moscow. It's a large uh, smart uh, transportation, smart city project in Moscow, basically everything from all the hardware to software, uh, but most of the software were uh, locally partners. Uh, and as you can see, this project actually could be copied anywhere, whether it's America, Europe, Latin America, uh, it's all the same. And buses are the same. They all have to be, you know, in, uh, installing the same uh, equipment. I think the majority of buses are done right now, whether China or Poland, yeah, European manufacturers. So we work with most of them. Uh, this kind of system, you know, has about an you know, eight to six PO, uh, PoE uh, for cameras and connect all the data from all the sensors. And the small information, uh, why I suggest you know, to look uh, deeper into the smart bus. From our point of view and from our research, there is so much funding is done for Latin America um, and uh, Europe in regards to transportation. And first is bus, That's because basically it's a city infrastructure the smart uh, infrastructure, and this is a must be, it's a safety of citizens. Whether it's a simply, you know, people counting, the ticketing systems, the connection you know, with the police, connection with emergency, uh, you know, you can have, you know, uh, these answer and others to make sure 
uh, you know whether your bus is upside down or not, different temperatures, like it's a cold, so, you know, in Russia we have ice, so, you know, it can slide. So buses are the first that go funded. Then it goes, you know, police, then everything else. So if talking about the government funding, buses are the first priority. Talking about the private funding, it's um, uh, the logistic, like trucks. But whether it's a police or trucks or, um, let's say, buses, they all around the same. It could be taxi, it could be a small truck, it could be you no know, logistic or taxi. They're all about the same. There's a limited in VPC, four to six cameras, uh, touchscreen monitor, GPS, the hogger, 4G, 5G, Wi Fi, and you know, basic software. And software normally uh, can be, if talking about the video, you know, any camera manufacturer right now can provide you basic software. It's simple. Even the software in regards to recognition of the front vehicles. It's a very good, you know, money making machine for local governments. Like I give you a little example. Belarus, very, very small country, they installed the ETC, electronic toll collection, and became a very big, basically, logistic hub. In like one day of running ETC, they made more money than the whole agricultural business in a year, just by taxing the drivers. So it's a very, very good you know, money-making machine for um, the governments. They'll be investing heavily. But what I'll suggest is, Hardware normally, uh, many of our partners, because it's still a big investment, whether you buy from Advantech or Moxa, you know, GHC, it's still quite a big investment, you know, let's say embedded PC, uh, all the GPS cameras, plus installations, plus, you know, the monitors. Um, for police, you probably need uh, special cables that are fireproof, waterproof, that sort of thing. So even the bulletproof casing, as like a black box. So initial investments are quite heavy for many of the projects. But from my personal experience, most of the business opportunities that are in regards to smart transportation, whether it's a ETC, a special vehicle like this ones, or the parking, they could be funded as this much, much easier privately. Because, for example, many European uh, countries, uh, all the like parking right now being outsourced to uh, private companies. So basically, um, private companies do installations and sign an agreement with the government uh, for you know some toll collection, right? The same you know comes to ETC, like in Taiwan. Uh, I'll send you guys like an example, but basically, uh, one moment. Yeah, if you see this one in Taiwan right now, you see it's multi-layer, empty line, uh, basically a full line, yeah? And it's a uh, service. So uh, government, of course, had to pay, you know, originally, but m most of the money go simply from ticketing the cars. So more and more banks and um, uh, financial institutions are e easier in terms of funding any transportation projects because they know it's going to be a must everywhere, especially right now during the COVID logistics, transportation, automation, monitoring is the must. So uh, my personally, my personal experience, many of my partners, they are never going to a project directly. They're all in partnership with software company and in partnership with, um, let's say, bank or financial institution. As I mentioned, the majority of transportation projects in Europe uh, in the uh, USA are non-commercial, uh, which means government doesn't have money, right? So they say, okay, guys, how do we make money out of this? And eventually, we just have to tell them, okay, uh, we provide you quite good, you know, good quality payment terms, like you can provide to you, but local partners uh probably you know have to do some installations on their cost but as soon as you sign with the garment and uh, you're receiving let's say you know ticket a uh, collection uh, partnership it going to be for each ticket you know receive 10 cents or you know uh, 20 cents on a dollar these are very good business models mm -hmm. and somebody asked about uh temperatures 
and uh, the dust? It's a good question. Um, frankly speaking, it's very interesting because from my experience, uh, majority of transportation projects, they, like, I never had an issue with dust. If talking about the not all collection, uh, do so very clean, but of course, if it's on the highway, it's going to be very, very dusty, but, um, oh, that's a good point. I'll give you one little example. Uh, one project we had, customer was losing money on the hardware, but customer made most of the money on cables and black boxes, uh, basically casing for the for that hardware just because as I mentioned so um, and Europe has all the regulations you know uh, if it's uh, for the highway if it's uh, for police or for transportation it has to be in the special case as well as the fireproof uh, cables so cables and the case was actually more expensive I don't know you know partner made more money on that I suggest to consider this uh, solution because you know even it's embedded PC with uh, fanless design and very, very clean design draw holes, right? So some of the clients, they're changing uh, RS, uh, RS connectors or PUE connectors for industrial ones, as I show you on the transportation ones. It's basically like this ones, you know, M2, M12 connectors. So we can do it as well, this kind of change if necessary. Sherry, hello. Uh, most not required, but if it's outside, definitely M12 connector will be over there. Uh, last thing from me. Sherry, everybody's happy to see you, but just turn on the, turn on the camera. Uh, final thing for me, please. Uh, be not selling Cambricorn, but from our opinion, uh, seeing what's happening with NVIDIA, I, I live in Taiwan, so you know, like, you know, how many clients are asking me about NVIDIA and we just cannot get any chipsets, we cannot get any, you know, partners. So we cannot get any, you know, um, uh, supply for partners. So Cambricorn, it's a Chinese unicorn. The company, yes, it's a, a semi, kind of industrial semi garment company, but basically it's backed up by, by very, very strong research R&D institutes in China. So the guys from NVIDIA and other, you know, companies go to Cambricorn right now. It's a unicorn, they're growing very fast. Product is amazing. So I suggest you to start, you know, trying. Because there'll be like a Huawei or like a hick vision of China, basically a competitor of NVIDIA. Yunis, anything from your side? Krishna, yes. Guys, any comments, any uh, questions, suggestions? It's uh, 10 of four on our side. We squeezed in an hour. There is plenty of information, but we try to make it, you know, very, very short uh, for you. Okay. Oh, okay. For me, uh, no more question. Uh, just would like to check for our partners if you have any more questions for for our solutions. You can just turn on the microphone, and uh, we can have a talk. If not, uh, Rusna, our, our webinar is, uh, is finished, right? Up to you, you're the boss. <laughs> so, uh, gentlemen, I uh, really appreciate your time. Once again, it's a bit, you know, evening on our side. Uh, it's morning on yours. We try to make it very quick. We do those kind of webinars every month on different topics. And uh, Eunice uh, is pushing very hard to deliver more and more information uh, for Latin America. Unfortunately, I don't speak Spanish, so we'll try to make it more and more in Spanish in the nearest future. Please excuse me for that. Um, at least, you know, we'll deliver presentations and you know, marketing material in Spanish. Uh, but for any questions about projects or partnerships or software or hardware, anything, please go to Eunice, me or PM directly. Uh, we'll be sending this presentation to you afterwards uh, via email. And uh, I would appreciate if you replied to Eunice in regards to what projects or applications um, or solutions you wish 
you know, we can cover later. If you want more hardware type of questions, you know, very, very deep in hardware, or you want more even software, we can allocate partners for your projects, or you wish, you know, to talk more about the business collaboration, we can make, you know, just business uh, webinar with um, uh, partners from Intel or Advantech and others for free to ask, okay? Yeah, uh, I think uh, I'm not sure if uh, everybody have seen the uh, video from Inter at the beginning, but uh, mm. uh, actually we did uh, so many collaboration with uh, Inter for the intelligent transportation system. And uh, in the same side, we actually focused for uh, Latin American marketing for the uh, RTS. So we believe in the future we will have more chance to build a non uh, non uh, cooperation for this sector. So anyway, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much for for all your time, <laughs> and uh, and and also to my team because here we we are we are uh, ten p.m. So it is late in China, but we 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 know it is morning for our partners. So we we try to fix this uh, time difference. Okay, so if if no more questions, of uh, of uh, uh, webinar will be over here. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, Rusnan. Thank you all, and have a good and, day. Uh, yeah, see, buenas noches a todos. <laughs> no, buenos días a todos. <laughs> okay, ciao. Bye bye. Bye bye.